To make our animal's snout, which includes the nose and mouth, we need to first choose a cube that's going to be the right size, one of the medium size cubes or larger if need be, or one of the smaller cubes. If you're using a small cube, it's about pinky thick, you will not need to hollow it out. If you're using one of the medium or larger cubes, then I'll show you how to make a tiny pinch pot that is gonna be hollow. So let's start with the one that is not hollow, the one that's pinky thick, so it's thin enough that we don't need to carve a hole. So for that one, we're gonna put a little bit of water on our hands. We're gonna roll it into a ball. This one's small enough that we don't have to go through all the other steps. Now you can either cut this in half and use half of it for the snout, or you can flatten the base of it by pushing on it. And while looking at your picture, kind of look to see what the shape of your snout looks like. Now this should hopefully be no thicker than your pinky. If it's thicker than your pinky, then you probably are going to need to hollow it out. But if it's pinky thick like this one, you can actually just attach it right on. So what we'll do to attach, we'll just take our wood stick or pin tool, whatever you have, and we're going to just trace where it's going to go. And then we'll score inside that area and score on the snout. Add our slip to both <clears throat> and then wiggle and press and blend it in. Okay, so that is for uh, a snout or a beak even, or if you wanna make, um, if you're doing an elephant, you could start a trunk like that and then continue adding coil. Let me show you the other way now. I'm gonna take that one off. I'll show you the other way. This one is if you're doing a slightly more medium or a larger one, we can just tap out the corners a little bit and then put some water on our hands, roll this into a ball. So the same first step as the other. <clears throat> now we're going to take the back end of the wood stick and we're going to carefully <clears throat> excuse me, pierce the clay. Now we don't wanna go all the way through, so I'm gonna kind of measure how far can I go. So maybe like to here, I don't wanna go farther than that. I obviously can't fit my thumb in this little ball of clay, so the back end of the stick is where it's gonna be. Kind of wiggle it around like this until the opening is big enough for your pinky. And then you can form the snout around your pinky. <clears throat> so if you have a <clears throat> howling wolf, I don't know why my throat is all dry, sorry guys. If you have a howling wolf that needs a longer snout, you kind of have to collar it and make it longer. Or if you have a penguin that has a beak, you can kind of collar it into a point. So whatever animal you're making, you want to always have your photo handy and be looking to see. So if we're hollowing it out, we're also going to widen the uh, part that's attaching like that a little bit and hold it up against it and see, does it look the right size? If it's looking like it's a little too large, we can fan this out a little bit further. And then we're going to do the same step as before. We're gonna trace where this is going. And we're going to draw a circle on here that's smaller than the circle we just traced. That's the circle we're planning to cut. We have to cut that out because otherwise we're trapping air and we'll have an explosion in the kiln. So we're gonna take our pin tool, and by the way, make sure that the clay is not in your hand when you're doing this next step. It has to be on the cloth, on the table. Push the pin tool through until you feel the air inside and then slowly, carefully go around in your circle. You can kind of double check that it's hollow inside before moving on. And then we're going to score everywhere that we traced. Remember you're scratching just the surface in different directions. We're also gonna score on this piece, different directions. Add a little bit of our slip to both. Okay, remember we have our slip bucket handy. Line it up, 
and make sure, this is really important, make sure that this opening lines up with this opening so that you're not trapping air. Okay, get them lined up really nice. And then you're going to blend the edges so we don't have any idea. How was that done? It's a mystery. Okay, now with your wood stick, you can draw in the nose and mouth shape. If you wanna build the nose up to make it pop out, you can use a little piece of clay to do that. Just kind of draw in the little nose for now, and the little mouth. I'm gonna to wait to do the eyes until later. Okay, so when you're finished with the snout, it'll look something 